we are back with video number two for the day and we have some more to talk about with this patch 1.09 if you didn't check out my video earlier i did show you guys the patch 1.0 notes i will leave it right here as well if you want to just go ahead and glimpse over it and see what was added in this patch 1.09 but in today's video we do have some news when it comes to some persona cards being added into the game with this patch 1.09 now as you guys can see on the screen right here what's the status the goat did find these two new persona cards Cars, which were one of them being Chad Gable 16 and the other one being Becky Lynch 18 as you guys can see right here and for the Chad Gable one it does have the long hair because this is when he was with Alpha Academy so this is a huge W from what's the status with this fine as well as for this younger Becky Lynch now he did confirm as you guys can see right here Chad Gable 16 does come with creative superstar parts but Becky Lynch 18 doesn't where well, he said at least he didn't see it assigned but he will keep on looking now status also did confirm confirmed that unfortunately Chad Gable will not have his American Alpha theme song. Now I know a lot of people that like spend their money on the My Faction cars and all of that. They are usually wanting to have those theme songs with these Persona cars, not just the model and all of that, but they would prefer the theme song, the Trons and all of that with these Persona cars. Now that is a major L when it comes to these specific Persona cars. Now we don't know for Becky Lynch about her old Trons and all of that, but hopefully she does have it. We haven't had no confirmation on that yet, but once we do, you know I'll keep you guys updated on that. Now, as you guys can see right here, we have some amazing screenshots of the WrestleMania 40 daytime look as well as the nighttime look. Now, like I said in my video earlier, this arena looks amazing. In order to get it, you must have the 40 years of WrestleMania edition or the bonus pack. Now, if you do decide to get the bonus pack, you might as well go ahead and play it with this arena and use this arena often and just go ahead and create some matches that you would have liked to see on the WrestleMania 40 card that you didn't get to see. For example, like Seth Rollins going up against CM Punk. Might as well create that match since we didn't get it in real life due to injuries. But yeah, if you do decide to get it, just go ahead and have fun with this arena. It looks amazing. The lightning, everything about this arena, amazing. Now, unfortunately, it don't have the Prime logo in the middle of the ring. I know a lot of people had a problem with that. It was like, if we spend our money on this, it should be accurate. Now, just to give you guys a little more information on why it is possibly not accurate is going to follow into our next topic that we are going to be talking about right now which is that pw insider did confirm that wwe 2k25 is well underway now it's an article about this as well that's coming from pw insider i'm gonna go ahead and read it to you guys right now so according to ringside news as you guys can see right here wwe 2k24 was released earlier this year and it has certainly lived up to the expectations in a big way already being an annual series, fans already wonder if work's begun on WWE 2K25, and now we have an update in that regard. He also says Mike Johnson of PW Insider has confirmed the next step for WWE gaming franchise, revealing that development on WWE 2K25 is already quote unquote well underway. While the exact release date for the game remains unclear, it's worth noting that every WWE 2K game since WWE 2K22 has typically been launched in March ahead of WrestleMania season. Following the hiatus prompted in the mix of reception to WWE 2K20, the WWE 2K franchise resumed in 2022 with the release of WWE 2K22. Since then, a new WWE console game has been released annually, suggesting that this pattern will persist in 2025. So based on reading all of this, it seems that WWE 2K25 is getting a lot of attention right now. Now, this isn't a huge surprise because we all know once they drop like one game, they decide to like work on the next one. And this could be a reason why we didn't get a fully like updated WrestleMania 40 arena with like the logos in the middle of it and all of that. Who knows, this is WB2K and they always do stuff like this. But anyways, guys, it's been Warblix Action here. Keep you guys posted on a lot of WB2K24 news, rumors, leaks, DLCs, as well as updates. If you did enjoy the video for the second time of the day, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me. Also, subscribe to the channel as well because it does help out the channel a lot. But anyways, Blix Action here, signing off, y'all. Peace.